Day and welcome to KOM News Extra. I'm Sonia Artero. Our topic tonight is about the true life story of Roman Gutierrez, who literally died twice before figuring out his life as a gang member and drug addict needed some serious help. Allow me to explain. At age 15, while punching a guy and sending him through the glass window, Roman cut his arm in half and bled so much that he was pronounced dead on arrival at the hospital. He was dead for six minutes before being saved. At age 19, Roman was stabbed twice by his own best friend over a $20 bag of cocaine. Again, he was pronounced dead for over five minutes before being saved. Here to explain the story behind his being saved and why he takes his twice dead story on the road, is the man himself, Roman Gutierrez. Thank you very much, sir, for coming on tonight. Thank you for having me. It's my pleasure. Now, let's go over your timeline, if you will. At 11 years old, your father dies from a drug overdose. At 12 years old, you're already shooting heroin and you try to commit suicide. At 13 years old, you experience your first incarceration. At 15 years old, you were pronounced dead for the first time. At 19 years old, you're pronounced dead for the second time. At 21, your own mother tells you she wishes you were dead or in prison. And then at age 25, you reach out to Jesus Christ for help. Now tell us what you are doing here on Guam. Um, I am an evangelist uh, that preaches worldwide. And uh, I also present myself in schools as a motivational speaker. I speak uh, against drugs, anti-drugs, anti-gangs. And uh, I try to motivate youth and challenge them that if they are being brought up in the same environment as myself or maybe similar, uh, that uh, you know what, there's other choices that they can make. And that basically where they're at today, you know what, they don't have to be tomorrow. Now one can only wonder after going over your timeline, which is very tragic and it's, it's sad to know that, you know, the, the truth is people go through this all the time and a lot of times we just aren't aware that there are people out there that have to go through this type of life mm -hmm. situation but what was the actual pivotal moment in your life that made you turn from this situation to God if you will well you know my my testimony if you would is twice dead that by the age of 19 I had died twice I've been saying this all week on the island that way before doctors ever declared me dead on paper I was already dead in here. And having your mother speak words uh, like that, that you're a mistake, and that she wished that you were never born, has a way of damaging your heart. Uh, losing your father, being brought up in a broken home, uh, being around gangs and, uh, and mafia is, uh, is uh, a lot of the topics that I do bring up. But by the age of 25, I was living under a bridge there in San Antonio, Texas. Been under this bridge for three months, and uh, I was 25, I was empty. I had nothing to show for, nothing but bruises and uh, um, cuts and, and, uh, and brokenness. And I finally came to a point where I realized unless I made a choice uh, and, uh, and, and tried to get out of the situation that I was in, that uh, I, wasn't gonna, I was either gonna end up dead for good or in prison. Now, I had tried rehabs, I tried programs, uh, they tried to get me on methadone, to get me off of heroin, and getting me on prescribed drugs wasn't the answer for me. It never worked. Uh, going to that church, June 13, 1995, I remember the day like it was today. Walked in that service. I was in that service for an hour and a half. I accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. Came out of that service, one simple prayer, my life was changed forever. I came out of that service never again to pick up drugs. I didn't need rehab. I didn't need programs. I didn't need a psychiatrist. All I had to do was bow my knee to Jesus, accept him in my heart, and also admit that where I was in life at that point, I had put myself. By doing that, uh, I got to experience, uh, you know, what changed in my life. And today, just 12 years later, I travel the world now. I go to 12, I'm going to be in 12 different countries this year, and I speak in schools for free. I don't charge uh, with one hope and one goal, and that's if I can touch youth and try to make a difference in their life and motivate them, then uh, I'll feel a, a sense of accomplishment in my ministry. Was that the goal that actually made you turn this into a road show, if you will, your presentation? Yeah, well, no, the, the story twice did is very uh, appealing, and so uh, I don't only touch youth or target youth, but uh, families come out. Uh, it's not just for drug addicts, it's for anybody. Uh, I say this everywhere I go, 
you don't have to be buried six feet under to feel dead or to be dead. And so, you know what, I, that's what I offer in my ministry is some hope. And that, you know what, doesn't matter how far gone you are or it doesn't matter. You can have everything around you and still feel empty. Uh, but that, you know what, there is hope. Do you ever have the urge to relapse back into drugs and back into the gang life? And if so, what has been your saving grace? Well, you know what, uh, and, and coming into church, I had a very good pastor. And uh, you know what, he really encouraged me. And he's actually the, the man that told me that where I started off in life, I didn't have to finish that I could be different. And uh, you know what, uh, for me to go back to what I used to be, uh, it, 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 it has crossed my mind in the past, but as far as it being tempting, um, it, it really isn't that appealing to me uh, to see that God took a broken life, messed up life, a life that even his own mother didn't want him, and yet God said, you know what, I'll take you, and not only will I take you, but I'll use you to help others then that's fulfilling enough for me. Your new life uh, is more appealing, if yeah. you will. That's great. What an inspiration. Thank you for sharing. We'll continue our interview with Roman Gutierrez when we come after the break. So stay with us.